Close your eyes. Watch your breath all the way in, all the way out, and then again and again and again. Each breath coming in, each breath going out. We do this to give the mind a good solid place to stay. It's like building a foundation. When the foundation is strong, then you can build a good house on top of it and not be afraid that it's going to fall down. However long the foundation is going to take, that's going to be an individual matter. Some people come and say, when I do this, how quickly should I see results? There's no way you can answer that. Because what we experience in life is a combination of two things, our present karma and our past karma. You have some control over what you're doing right now, and that's your present karma. But what's coming in as the result of your past karma, there's not much you can do about it. Although you can focus on the different things that your past karma has to offer. And the Buddha compares it to a field with lots of different seeds that are ready to sprout. And the seeds that you water are the ones that will sprout first. So focus on the body. There are areas of the body that are in pain, areas of the body that are not in pain. Focus on the areas that are not in pain. And see if you can breathe in a way that maintains that sense of ease inside. In other words, you focus on your strengths. Focus on the good things coming up. As for the other things, you have to be patient. Sometimes they may last for a long time, sometimes not for too long. But you can't get impatient with them to try to drive them away, because that impatience in the present moment then creates more problems. But it's not that you're just left to have to deal, receive whatever comes up. There are ways that you can minimize anything bad coming up. And one of them is by fostering the sense of ease that you can find in different parts of the body. The Buddha doesn't leave you exposed. It's the same way when people say unkind things to you. There are a lot of times when you simply have to take it, but you don't let yourself suffer from it. As he says, re reflect on the fact that you're living in the human world, and there's kind speech and unkind speech, true speech, untrue speech. Speech that's well-meaning, speech that's not well-meaning. And the fact that you're being exposed to some of the bad kinds right now is not all that much out of the ordinary. So there's nothing to get upset about. And the fact that they're throwing dirt at you doesn't mean that the dirt has to stick to you. Sometimes we're afraid that if someone says something bad about us, other people will believe it. It may depend on the fact that there are people who have eyes. They listen to what's being said, but then they look for themselves. There's no need to think that the bad words for the people stick to you. What this means is you learn how to think about other people's speech in a way that you don't have to suffer from it, in the same way that you learn how to live with the pains in the body without suffering from them. So learn how to be patient, but realize that with patience there are skills that help you be patient. You keep the mind occupied with your strengths, be occupied with your good things. And the things that are difficult don't have to weigh you down so much. That makes it easier to bear. And then when the results of your present actions start showing themselves on into the future, you'll be glad you're stuck with this. So you're not only creating as much comfort as you can in the present moment, but you're also creating conditions for more well-being and more ease in the future. So have confidence in the process. Stick with it. And whether it shows its results quickly or slowly, it will show its results, and that's what matters.